time. I'm not gonna say much. The game's gonna speak for itself. So. Ran into the wall that is Ryan Howard. It's like I'll do a lot of gestures, like I might call you baby food or something like that. I'm looking to do whatever it takes to you know, make everybody around me better. Yes. Right, plenty of time here for Kentucky to end on a high note. Got it. And who else would you rather have shoot it than Ryan Howard? I'm Ryan Howard. I'm the number one draft pick to the Atlanta Dream. My last day in Kentucky, instead of, sort of, you know, me just going around and saying my, basically my goodbyes to everyone and just, you know, seeing their faces one last time. They all mean a lot, but just in their own ways. Hey, girl. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Good luck with everything. Thank you. Volleyball and, you know, men's players, we all use the same facility and the same, you know, training room, so we see them a lot, so it's all good vibes. We all, you know, support each other. Just trying to squeeze one last three minutes. My trainer, I was in there all the time going to her my problems. We probably won't let anybody even like lay on this table. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, we'll just FaceTime you anytime somebody wants to get on and be like, hey, what do you, what do you think? Yeah, like, do they qualify? Just giving her a hard time and just having her take care of me and just getting me back to be able to play you know, at full capacity. Hugely missed in this space. One, two coaches, of course, they helped me throughout the journey. And, you know, Coach Cal, he's always been a big fan of mine, as I am of his. So just be able to talk to him and have somebody like him, you know, in my corner is just big. Anything I can do, you know, I'm here for you. Mm -hmm. So if you need my help, can't wait to be watching you. This is my final project at the University of Kentucky. I feel so good. I'm finally about to be done. My major is digital media and design, but I took a fibers class, so I learned how to sew, crochet, and all of that. I chose to do a quilt. I had you know, all my teammates, coaches, everybody, you know, went through this journey, and I spent time with over my four years. I had them write me a note, and I had it printed out and transferred onto here. Always greeted by your sweet, soft voice and million dollar smile. Brian, you may not be a woman of many words, but you possess a quiet strength that commands the attention of everyone in the room. Stay humble and focused and enjoy the moment. The possibilities of your greatness are endless. Wishing you many blessings, passion. This is just something that I'll be able to take with me and just something that I can look back on and read just how I impacted everybody or just if I needed some like encouragement or some, you know, love. I had no clue like my journey and my legacy was gonna be this, what I've left it as. Super proud of myself for the way that I worked and what I've accomplished. It was kind of bittersweet to know that it's the last time I would be there. So hopefully I can go back and visit sometime soon and just, you know, see everybody again. 10 out. Packing up my room and getting ready to move out. Welcome to mi casa. Y'all looking good? <laughs> Y'all are doing a great job. Just hang it up. Kind of sad, kind of not. I did my time, now it's time to release me, work hard and stay humble. My mommy got me that. That's really my twin flame, like we think all the same stuff, people all the same stuff. I am my mother's daughter, so. I played at the University of Florida. I didn't have the desire to play professionally. I really had the desire to teach. Well, I coached Ryan in middle school up until she was in high school. That's where I saw a lot of the things in Ryan. Uh, you just really can't teach kids. And I knew that she would be special. When I got to New York, Sunday night we went bowling. It was really fun. We all had a good time, you know, just being able to relax. There we go, there we go. Woo! All those little moments where I'm just like, you know, hanging out. You know, I don't have to think about anything else. Like, I just only have to think about what's going on right there and, you know, who I'm with and just paying attention and being there and being present. Riri just, Riri just left Lily hanging. She doesn't even know it. At least with good name, player of the year. Every team to Sweet 16. We played USA ball together. She carried us to the gold. She just, I don't know, we just both kind of go together. Like, we neither of us talk a whole lot. Come on straight. Yes. 
she got a strike. But um, it's nothing but good vibes when we get around each other. I just try to build a bond. Like you never know what can happen when you have connections like that. Like you may need them for something, or they may need you. And it's just fun to have them, you know, outside of you know where you are or you know the teammates that you end up with. Just to have like an outside person that you can like go and talk to or just hang out with. The media strike for you? Yeah. You, you throw the ball and I'll just do my hand like this and they can edit it. Shout out that my mom and Elisa's mom won, so mom club, I guess. My mom just got another spare. Ugh, she's about to kill me. I gotta pick it up. You know, being around, you know, good people and you don't have to think about anything else besides being in the moment. It's just peaceful and, you know, it's a little downtime and whenever I'm hanging out, I can do whatever. Like, I have total freedom to just be myself. Morning of the draft, we went and we saw like a little preview of them lighting the Empire State Building orange. First time ever for the W. Thank you. It was fun and it was just, you know, great to you know be able to have the draft in person and just go out with the draftees in my class, have a good time and see New York. We all just like loved it. Everybody's dreams are about to come true and it was just overall a good time. Follow me on Instagram at Veronica AB22 on Twitter too. Thank you. On, on all platforms. Thank you, on all platforms. Right, I'm gonna get food. I do have a connection with Veronica and Elisa. All of us played together actually at USA and a couple of other of the draftees once everyone made a team like it was just like bam like even stronger connection. Look at these oh hey do y'all want to go eat with us? You know some people are like no we're not gonna be friends but you know, if we connect, then we connect, and you're gonna be my friend, and we're gonna talk. All of them, like who are there, they don't see us like y'all are the enemy all the time. So if you're cool people, you're cool people. Draft day morning, morning festivities. Um, yeah. Before the fun. Morning of the draft. Big day. Before before the fun begins. Preparation for the big day. Can I get a plain chicken sandwich? <laughs> like just the chicken and the bread. Uh, yeah, that's. What's your name? Naz. Naz. Why did you hesitate? Because it's short for Nazario, so that's like the hardest. I thing. like that. Y'all don't believe in name tags? Wait, I asked for fries. Naz, I asked for fries. Naz, why my chicken look like this? <laughs> just having fun. You see, we gave our waiter a hard time, too, and just, you know, relaxing. Like, we weren't even worried. Nobody was nervous about, like, the draft that was going to be happening a couple hours later. We were just, you know, Having fun, just enjoying the last time that we have to just be together. Right, first pick of the draft. Okay, all right. I don't know, we're just gonna see how everything goes. It's gonna be lit tonight. Orange. Orange. Lighting up the city for the draft. Stay tuned. When I heard my name go, like, I was like, sigh of relief. Like, I felt like everything had been lifted. Like, you know, I had high hopes to go number one, and you know, a lot of people projected it, but you know, anything could happen. I could have won number one or number two, like Melissa could have been it, and I would have been happy either way, but to hear it, I was like, it's a huge accomplishment. I'm super proud of myself for making it and being the number one pick. TC5, that means Terrence Clark. I always gotta keep him with me, so. He didn't have a draft night, so I made sure we shared this tonight. After the draft, like, it, it went up. There was no tears, nothing but smiles and, and laughs. The average party was lit, and it was great to you know, see all those people who were supporting me and the rest of the draftees that are assigned to the same agency. You know, we could, you know, just enjoy it, like actually, you know, take it all in and, you know, realize, like, the accomplishment we had just made. After New York, I was getting texts on Tuesday, the day after the draft, and they were like, yeah, oh, by the way, we need you here tomorrow which is Wednesday. I know, the women's season is crazy because it's like, season ends next day, draft, and then it's like, it starts like right away. Yeah. You see that 10 with the crown in there? Yeah, you see it? Hotlanta Howard. She used to make us put on these goggles where you can't look down. It was torture. Dribble goggles, yeah, they were awful. So you put them on and like they have this uh, part where you can't see. So you can't look down unless you go like this. Like that. <laughs> Hate them. And then she'll make you go through cones. Like, can't even see the cones. How am I supposed to dribble through? Reinhardt on the court. She's super competitive and, you know, she's always going to work hard. And she hates to lose. She's not going to say much, but her game's going to speak for itself. 
Ooh. Money. When I come in here, like, I forget about every little thing that's happening outside these four lines. And it's just a sense of peace and just, I can come out here, I can do whatever. Just shoot, see the ball go in. Just have fun. It's like, I don't gotta worry about nothing but me, the ball, and the goal. It's gonna be Atlanta dream. I can just know that I'm looking to do whatever it takes to make an impact and, you know, making everyone better and, you know, getting us back to the top. You're not gonna be disappointed with what you see. Finally, the next journey can begin. Yo fam, Overtime refuses to miss this year. The drops are nonstop, and we're just getting started. Get like me and cop all the fits. All you gotta do is click the link below and make sure you stay looking out for all our drops.